What is the most terrifying thing in the universe? No, it's not Thanos or the Infinity Stones. They are massive but invisible. They are eternally hungry, consuming anything within its boundaries. Even light is not spared. To make things even more complicated, they are unobservable and mostly indestructible. Hi, I am Neelakanda Bhanu Prakash, the world's fastest human calculator and in this video, I intend to throw some light on black holes. Oops, the light's gone, sorry. Like everyone else, I loved watching Interstellar. And yeah, I teared up a little bit. What fascinated me the most in the movie was the portrayal of Black Hole. It was one of the most innovative and creative moments in cinema. Black holes have been a pursuit of interest of many renowned physicists and mathematicians for over a century. The general understanding is that black holes are made from massive stars. But what if I told you that any object can be made into a black hole given that you alter its radius? Well, it is possible. Theoretically, one can turn the mass of a country or even our planet into a black hole. I know what you're thinking. This sounds like a fantasy of a super villain from a comic. Let's suppose for a moment that we come across such a super villain turning things into a black hole. What would you name the villain? Be creative and let me know in the comments below. But is this possible? To get to that, we will have to understand what black holes really are. A black hole is a cosmic body of extremely intense gravity from which nothing, not even light, can escape. A black hole is formed when a star has exhausted the thermonuclear fuels in its core at the end of its life. The core becomes unstable and collapses under its own gravity. This essentially compresses the entire mass of a dying star to a point of zero volume, infinite density, which is called singularity. Now, if we extend the idea of black holes to regular objects, we can, in theory, turn them into black holes by compressing them to a certain tipping point. To understand how that can be done, we need to know the work of a great German physicist and astronomer, Karl Schwarzschild. Schwarzschild's solution to Einstein's theory of relativity identified a radius for any given mass known as the S radius, where if that mass could be compressed to fit within that radius, no known force or pressure could stop it from continuing to collapse into a black hole. What this means is that if an object's physical radius is made smaller than its S radius, the object will become a black hole. How to come up with the S radius of an object? Well, Mr. Squashchild came up with it back in 1916. And the formula is the S radius equals two times the gravitational constant multiplied with the object's mass and divided by the square of the speed of the light. For a typical star, such as the sun, the S radius will be about 3 kilometers, meaning that if you can compress the sun's radius of 696,340 kilometers into just 3 kilometers, you'll have successfully turned sun into a black hole. Let's check out the S radius for objects on our planet. The S radius for Burj Khalifa would be 0 0.000000014 zeros and 1 mm. The S radius for Mount Everest would be 0 0.0000000012023 mm. For a mass as small as the human being, the S radius will be around 10 to the power minus 23 centimeter, which is much smaller than the nucleus of an atom. However, all of them are hypothetical. Humans will not be able to compress the Burj Khalifa or Mount Everest to their S radius since we lack the means or the technology to generate enormous energy and force to do so. Black holes have advanced from mathematical curiosity to being the subject of pure theoretical physics and finally becoming a center of astronomical research. 
we have made huge progress in our understanding of black holes. However, much of it is still shrouded in mystery. What is on the other side of a black hole? What if black holes are passages to another universe? The possibilities are endless. Let me know in the comments your theories on what happens inside a black hole. I hope the video was interesting and gave you a unique perspective on black holes. Like, share and subscribe to the channel for more such content.